Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. This is this is what dreams are made of. Oh yeah. So what? you guys didn't see the title. My bad. It's a uh, hundred and sixty-seven dollars versus nineteen dollars chicken parm. I'm Saul. I'm a professional chef, and in this box are all the ingredients for a hundred and sixty-seven dollars chicken parmesan. Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm a home cook, and these are my nineteen dollars chicken parmesan ingredients. This one's kind of loud. So when did they start putting it in a box? Oh, yeah. This is like an old episode. I can already tell this is going to be a long day. <laughs> Heritage chicken parmesan with homemade burrata and arrabbiata sauce. Arrabbiata. I need to work on my Italian a little bit. Today's the day. I have some excellent ingredients to work with it. For my chicken, I had a whole Heritage chicken to butcher myself. I was gonna cook it with some aged Parmesan, panko, breadcrumbs, and cacho cavallo cheese. I don't even know what kind what of cheese this is. What in the fuck is, is this that? This is a big piece of cheese, though. <laughs> For my arrabbiata sauce, I have some fresh heirloom tomatoes. This is Bruce. <laughs> Bruce the big onion. Oh, I'm sorry, tomato. He's a tomato. Oh no, okay. she did not call and it an onion. Oh wait, that's new. I didn't oh. expect chili peppers. Cool. And I had everything I needed for some homemade burrata and arugula salad. Mozzarella curd. More What's going on? Yo, Reese Sweet, did you do the 20 gifties? What the fuck, dude? Yo, that's incredibly fucking kind, man. Yo, check me show someone for Reese Sweet with the 20 gifties. Some hearts, some bikes. It's appreciated. Thank you so much. How much love, man? I hope I remembered to bring the lactate pill. It was I appreciate going it. Thanks, to man. be delicious, you tips. With Gabby recipe, I have simpler it's ingredients. Really it's stuff that oh, you shit, normally find chat. on your kitchen or in any grocery store. A boneless chicken breast, eggs, breadcrumb, Parmesan cheese, all-purpose flour, vegetable oil, mozzarella, basil, <clears> prepared <throat> tomato sauce, and spaghetti. These ingredients might be simpler, but I can use my chef skills to make something better. I'm if I had to guess the price now of all of these, $16.55. $19? You crazy? You can call me. I know a few people, that they, they get it for cheaper. I would guess that this meal and I all like of the ingredients lot. are probably around <clears throat> 85 Wait, the vinegar is $40 by itself? $5? What the fuck is it? That's for sure. <laughs> Not left with any measurements or instructions. Uh, burrata. So, oh, we're making the burrata. That's new. Burrata is a creamy mozzarella. We're gonna cut it in half, and so the cheese is going to cover all the uh, all the chicken parmesan. So you got cheese everywhere. Without further ado, it's time to call Rose. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hey, Gabby. <laughs> we got a big, beautiful meal going on today. We are going to be making heritage Those are cooking for generally very impressive or very expensive. With burrata and arrabbiata sauce. So, wow. I mean, let's start with the big, the big one, the, the chicken. I know today's all about getting the breast meat and I want to make sure that I do it perfectly. So first of all, you have a heritage chicken, which is a real luxury. We're going to focus on the breast, but you want to make sure I would use every inch oh, of this last gift. I it. bird. Take a really sharp knife, okay. deal the, the bone and cut along the bone as closely as you possibly can. Use the meat any way you like and then you want to kind of roast off the bones and make a stuff. That. That's that what I would noise? do. I know you're going to do really, fire. really well with the whole no, thing. Bye, Rose. Bye, Bye, Gabby. It's hard not to feel really good and really high. I'll do again. You don't have to, man. I appreciate Rose. the 20 so, gifts. Let's make some chicken parmesan. I'm, let's do this. So right here, I know is the breastbone. So I'm going to use this as kind of like my guide and just mm. a couple more foul swoops. A foul swoop. Sorry. Oh, thank you. We have my chicken breast. Look at that. I have this beautiful chicken breast. 
So basically, I'm gonna cut it from the bottom side. I'm gonna get this butterfly style. Uh, no brain mercy likes the crime. I like this the crime. I appreciate it. Not cutting Naomi thinks through. of the tier one. And sure it voila! Thank you, man. Now it's in the shape of a heart. <laughs> one small win for big win of the, of the butterfly. So we're gonna start with this side of the uh, hammer. Don't right. worry about the thin parts. Let's take out some frustration. All the Zoom calls. Now we switch to the smooth side. All right, let's see. All right, that makes a noise. That makes one hell of a noise. Do you see the heart? That's all the love that I have for all of you. <laughs> Our chicken breast is ready to be dredged. All purpose flour, plain breadcrumbs. Thank you, Gabby, for the plain breadcrumbs. <laughs> Put my flour in this pan. I'm so sorry, guys. Clean up on aisle two. Put a little bit of flour here. Some of our panko, whatever didn't end up on the floor. Little of salt here to the flour, like mm -hmm. Parmesan, mm -hmm. so tempted mm -hmm. to like dump the rest of it into my mouth. My garlic powder. I mean, that's the only flour. way to do it. Nick, listen, if you get Parmesan simple. cheese and eat like at home, already. like in pasta, yeah. pizza, whatever yeah. it is, and you don't put a little bit in your I mouth, ever seen I, I don't trust life. you. You're Whoa. not real. My waste the bowl. You can do it right here. Holy moly! I've never seen such. Uh, past stores using to the tone for eighteen months. Appreciate it. I cut this into a perfect circle because I have an idea. Wait and watch. Don't go anywhere. Put the flour. Then remove the paper. I'm actually gonna go ahead and add some salt at this time. This is the egg wash. And then last but not least. There we go. Nice. Cover this baby. All right. Look at that. And there you have it. My chicken is coated in my bread. Looks pretty good. Parmesan. I'm gonna skip this. Skip some. Sure I did. This is my vegetable oil, so it's up to temp now. For this, I use vegetable oil. Fire. One way to find out if it's really hot or not. If it makes big noise, that means it's, it's uh, super hot. Or you can use a thermometer, which I don't have and I don't need because I'm an old school guy and I do whatever I want in my life. Two minutes on each side. Those panko breadcrumbs are gonna get really, really, uh, really sad. Sad. The, to get these sure did. No one to just drop it like crazy. You wanna drop it like, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I'm like it's... Put my thing down, flip That's pretty good. Nice. Wow, that actually looks fire. What Missy Elliott wrote. Who cooks on a cast <laughs> iron? She was absolutely talking about me. Wait, wait, wait. John. Are you, are you serious? Because I'm no master chef, but cooking on a cast iron is is actually OP. Okay. I have a metal and just keep pressing so you have a nice. Like cast metal irons crust. are like the best. I, I was a little premature in my flip, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip. If you didn't, if you didn't know, like I wish I had a cast any, iron. I don't have alas. one. Yes, beauteous. How do you know when your chicken is ready? Run it, it's very wombly, wombly. If it's very firm, that means it's cooked. Now travel. All right, that's good stuff. Parmigiano Reggiano crusted chicken. Oh yeah, the, the old Game Boy Color, right? Like you used, it was actually an attachment you could get for it. And basically uh, it was like a little uh, USB type looking thing. And then it was like on a stick and then it had a, a little like lamp post on it and you would put, plug in the lamp post and it would just put a little bit of light on top of your screen so you can see. You have it, our fried chicken for a chicken parmesan. Oh, I have these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. They're a work of art in and of themselves. So take my olive oil. All right, hold on. She can't open it. Eh. Oh, no. And I'm gonna be pretty generous with this because it's all gonna go into my sauce. Add my sugar. We don't wanna go overboard with the sugar. We, we just wanna neutralize some of the acid. Generous pinch of salt. Uh, we're gonna keep it really simple. Just two halves, face them okay. down. Okay, I'm and still with last you. Last but not least, <laughs> Bruise the baked potato. Oh, it's so cool. I'm gonna do a little more salt, a little pepper, and then okay. we're gonna pop them in the oven. 400 degrees Still with you on that. for 20 minutes. Smell. I didn't have the magnify glass. Amazing. I can't wait to add them to the sauce. Dice up my aromatics. Is this supposed to look like that? True arabiata, the Calabrian chilies. Take out a that few and take the top off. Uh, nah, this is three gifts. He's appreciated. 
olive oil. We're gonna put a lot of this in here. Give her a bartender, I feel like you kind of know, you know, like what a glug looks like, so. So while these are cooking Jeff. down, I'm gonna peel the skins Round off my tomatoes. And I think all of the extra labor really The other Nintendo like DS not have the Game Boy slot? Uh, the 3DS? I don't think well, did. Done. Gabby sent me this tomato sauce uh, on a jar, which is great, but I can add something special. Since, you know, I like good. spicy stuff. Uh, Yeti yeah, thinks that's really good. He's appreciated. Which I'm gonna place one for garnish on or top prick. of the sandwich. So the three a little bit of the DS light then. Uh, this will make you cough because we're adding spicy to the hot oil. Push the oil to one size, and then we're just gonna let it blister. Also, that oil will become more spicy. Yeah, this looks pretty a good. A little bit of salt. I'm, I'm gonna add minutes. this into the garnish of my chicken parmesan. Looks delicious. And it smells delicious. Chop my basil up, get that ready to go. I'll see what we're working with now. <gasps> it's so beautiful. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and start by dumping in all this liquid. Woo! Well, the tomatoes are really, really eager to get into. It's amazing how much liquid there is, but it's all just the natural liquid and oil from pretty simple ingredients. Expensive, simple ingredients, but simple ingredients. <laughs> Dice this with everything inside because I want to make sure that it's spicy. I'm going to cook it and I shut the heat off, no heat. Remove it to one side and kind of put it in one side. Okay, now the heat can go back on. So I'm going to cook this 15 minutes, very low heat. This is our mill. So as you can see, there's some of these nice little holes down here. That's going to make the uniform texture. Oh yeah. I basically got about everything I could out of the food mill. So I'm thinking that I may not have reduced this enough. Oh my gosh. It just looks so rich, but I want it to be just a little bit thicker. Just put it right back into my saucepan. Leave the lid off to let some of that moisture escape. All right, so I got this mozzarella cheese, the chicken parmesan, you put it on top of the chicken and then you finish it in the oven. To grab the oven, you have a melted cheese. The way I like to have my melted cheese okay. is on a fundido, a cheese fondue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a queso fundido. So I'm gonna cheat just a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bit of heavy cream, that's it. I only got heavy cream, nothing else. That's just to melt the cheese. So please, people, give me a break. Do some black pepper, and then we're gonna add the cheese. I want the mozzarella to melt all the way. There we go. Making a fundido is the best way to get rid of mm -hmm. all, all your leftover cheeses that you have on your fridge. Parmesan cheese, so it's a two cheese fundido. So just medium heat, low heat, go back and forth. I'm only making one, so, so I'm gonna add more cheese. <laughs> so now we're just gonna stop cooking it and just keep stirring. There we go. Fundido, it's ready. I'm ready to dive into this burrata. From what Rose oh, mentioned, damn. this is a type of a pasta filata cheese, so it means that it's stretched and pulled. And I have salted boiling water, and you're going to hard to play beta because every time in, we get in a game, it crashes. Let it rest in oh, there sorry, for dude. two to three minutes. Nice. Wait, what? Go ahead and grab it. <laughs> dude, it looks so gross, but oh, like no. I know it's like okay. how it's supposed to work. This is this is actually. A little challenging. Hold this. Oh, it's hot. It's super hot. I'm sure Saul, he probably reaches in with his bare hands. You want to work the uh, cheese. It is nice and elastic. That means that you can actually do any shapes that you want with a... Yeah. This could potentially be the most fun thing I've ever done on the show. <laughs> Shred that into little pieces and then add the heavy cream a little bit of salt, and that will be your stracciatella, the inside of the burrata. Set this off to the side. My goal I'm not gonna lie to you, to I don't even know what he said. Into that beautiful piece of he said that's the inside of the burrata? I, do, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thanks oh, to the three yes. gifts, appreciate it. This is, this is what dreams are made of, right here. Wow. What the fuck? I'm gonna be very generous with the size of disc that I have. Lay this over my bowl. Layer in. I can't even tell if we're looking at cheese or bread anymore. And like I, I've, I'm completely lost. Up. It's so pliable, but then it also wants to wrestle with you. <laughs> so okay, this feels pretty good. Give it a dip in here to seal off all the edges, and then it's gonna go into my ice water. That feels here good. we go. Here's my burrata. <laughs> uh, 
looks kind of like, a, like a dumpling. Okay, so Gavin sent me this fire. lovely box of uh, simple all spaghetti. Of things in the prime. I'm gonna cook it, and I'm gonna. All right, chat. Listen, I have a question for you, okay? Because I I know we're not all trendy, fucking, you know, where you make your own pasta at home, and if you are, that's great for you, but that ain't most of us. What brand of Pasta do you buy? Give me a one for store brand. Give me a two for Barilla. Give me a three for Prince. Give me a four for um oh god, I forget what the name is. You know, give me a four if it's there is something else. That feels good. Uh look at Tron, these are the three gifties. Appreciate it, dude. Okay, I think I'm in the minority here. Shanto thinks he's a gifty. You never heard of Prince? Okay, Chad, give me a new 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 poll. New poll. New poll. Give me a six if you've heard of Prince. Give me a seven if you haven't. Give me a six if you've heard of Prince. Give me a seven if you haven't. Wait. What? I'm gonna go check my cabinets. All right, you guys got this. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, check the cabinets, I'm see if I can find it, some for you guys. Hold on. I'll be right back. Spaghetti buns for my chicken parmesan sandwich. You didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> for boiling water, salt. This is for the first bun, and this is for the uh, one on the top. The box says 10 minutes for al dente. We just need 13 minutes because we want the pasta to be flexible. Otherwise, my buns are not going to come out good. Cold water. We want the noodles to be like my heart. Ice cold. <laughs> and here's my pasta. Okay, so we're going to do an egg. A little bit of parmigiano reggiano. A little bit of salt. We're going to turn this on into medium heat. A little bit of vegetable oil. Grab our pasta to add the egg. We don't want to do the entire egg. I don't want this to be an omelette. Otherwise, I would call it omelette chicken parmesan. Okay. Okay. So now you want to push okay. it to the side. Make sure Wait, that looks fire. Me. I want this. Wait, I wish I watched that part. That looks fire. Fuck, dude. Okay. You guys have never seen this before? No. Because this is the, that's the that's the good stuff to me, honestly. Barilla is like kind of like kind of meh. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I kind of want to watch the pasta part. A little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, a little bit of salt. We're gonna turn this on into medium heat. A little bit of vegetable oil. Grab our pasta to add the egg. We don't want to do the entire egg. No, I don't want I this to be an job. omelette. Otherwise, I would call it omelette chicken parmesan. Okay, so now. You want to push it to the side, make sure it's pressed evenly. I want this to be nice and gold on the edges, and then we're going to flip it. Since we're waiting for that one to finish, we're going to do the second bun. This looks good. There we go. Ta-da! Looks crispy. So I'm going to keep cooking this, but I'm, I'm going to finish this and do the other one and get ready to assemble. There I you have it. Fire. Our two spaghetti buns for our chicken parmesan. Ah, uh, dude, listen, I like that guy a lot, but spaghetti buns? I don't know if I'm sold, dude. Boiling water, salt. Salt. This is for the first bun, and this is for the uh, one on the top. The box says 10 minutes for al dente. We just need 13 minutes because we want the pasta to be flexible. Otherwise, my buns are not going to come out good. Cold water. We want the noodles to be like my heart. Ice cold. <laughs> oh. And here's my pasta. Okay, okay so that's we're on. Gonna do an egg, a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, a little bit of salt. We're gonna turn this on into medium heat, a little bit of vegetable oil. Grab our pasta. This is what I was looking at. I was like blown away. Look at this. This dude just put egg Parmesan fucking mix on his pasta and breadcrumbs. 
and then fries it. That's why I'm like, I don't know about this one, Chief. Make sure it's pressed evenly. I want this to be nice and gold on the edges, and then we're gonna flip it. Since we're waiting for that one to finish, we're gonna do the second bun. This looks good. There we go. Ta -da. I, don't, I don't know about that one. I'm gonna keep cooking this, but I'm, I'm gonna finish this and do the other one and get ready to assemble. There you have it. Our two spaghetti buns for our chicken parmesan. I don't know anything about Chef Saul. I know his love for cheese. We are going to use this cacio cavallo for so our in Italy. Salad. Chef is dying. The main event, we're gonna go ahead and fry it. <laughs> I'll start with the ribbon for my salad. Oh. I definitely want to have a little taste of this. Let's see. Looks mm. fire. Different strokes for different folks, wow. I guess. It's really salty. It has a little bit of a bite to it. It has like a sourness. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this rind. For just yourself, so that right? I'm not shredding that. What about you? What about a slice too? Hey, I don't trust a chef that doesn't take a parmesan slice for themselves. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a parmesan cheese frico. So basically it's fried, fried cheese. And that's something that I like to add to my salads. When I eat salads once a month, let's start with the cheese, medium heat. There we go, like maybe too hot. I did it really hot in the beginning because I don't want the cheese to stick into the pan. All right, so the cheese is melting. I'm just gonna pass it right here. I only cook it one size. I'm gonna let it sit here and it's gonna, it's gonna become crispy. So I'm gonna make another one just in case. Just in case. Doing the dance. Now it dances. Okay. Now we're just gonna put it here. Okay. All and right. There you have it. Parmesan All right, you, you got me again. My chicken parmesan. That's pretty good. I think that that's gonna spread out enough. I remember when I watched Saul make his burrito, he let this get really nice and brown and then did this literal magic trick where he flipped it then. I have to find that video. With my cheese, I'm going to let that get brown, put the chicken into my cashew cavallo. Wait. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, this is actual trick. black magic. Where Hold he on. Flipped Hold it on. Then. That's Chat. what I want to I feel like if I did cheese, this, right, and I put a bunch of cheese in the into a pan like this, my shit would brown. The, that that would cheese. not look like this. Like the outside would be all burnt and shit. You know what I mean? Like, how does this look so perfectly cooked? Chicken into my cashew cavallo. <laughs> I almost forgot it. I remembered. Flip it on the plate. <gasps> I'm so scared every time. So here we go, and. <laughs> mm -hmm. I look at that. Yo, that is like fire. Nice amount of brown. Just got some nice brown crisping going on. This was the missing puzzle piece, and uh, now I think we're ready to put everything together. Time to plate. Let's do this and start with my fresh arugula. A nice little handful, because this is all going on the plate, more or less. So add in my olive oil and balsamica shreds of the cashew cavallo, pinch of salt, and some fresh ground pepper. I have my beautiful okay. sauce. It has reduced a lot compared to the last time. Beautiful piece of chicken. This right here. And put on my okay. beautiful labor of love, my burrata. And then I'm gonna do that thing where you open it. Yeah. Last but not least, what even is nice that? handful of this Arugula I feel like I'm too poor. My taste is too poor for this. And then we would add some tomato. The chicken, yes, more tomato. The spaghetti buns, it's pasta and it's fried. So it's gonna need a lot of cheese. Look at this beauty. So let me make sure we put it all over. The bacon of my Oh my, what, dude, that Mexico. looked amazing. And now- What has this man built? Wait. Nah, okay, we listen, we gotta change the, the, the buns, remember but. This from the beginning? Stay, 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 stay. That's the one to stay. I'll make it stay. ta -da. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Low key, though. This is the first chicken parmesan sandwich with spaghetti buns that exists in the entire world. I just Google it. Nice. Let's remove this part. Let's see. Let's just be gentle. Should I get all the layers?
delicious. Oh, malt ingredients are there. It's just more texture, more crispy. This it's guy is a tasty. true entertainer. I don't know, I was thinking more tasty. One, two, three, go. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. Wanna nah, get nah, bite? that does not so, look good, but it be nice. See if I can even get a little bit of mozzarella. Let's see. I'm on fire! I'm gonna be honest. Mm. Her chicken looks Fresh fire. <laughs> the bun but thing is like sweet. something, but it it's replaced the, the, the fucking weird ass like salad with some pasta, and that would be fire. It's just very, very moist, tender, and it has this really, really, really nice flavor to it all on its own. It's. <laughs> nah, you just give her to the dude. The, the fake salad on the side, put the actual pasta there, and that would have been fire. How are you? Good, happy, excited. I just had my. He's off the clock. Of your chicken parm recipe. He's actually off the clock. I'm blown away. Do you want to see it? Please, Sabe. I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been waiting all this time. Flip it. What do you think? Beautiful. I couldn't wait any longer. Yeah, so there's my burrata. I can see the burrata is very creamy. That was my only worry. I was like, oh, I don't think she's going to pull it up, but you did. Congrats. Yeah? That looks amazing. Oh, my God. I need to see what you Oh, dude, he's too nice to people. He's like, that looks amazing. And it's like, no, it doesn't. And like, the chicken looks amazing. The sauce looks good. But everything else kind of, you know, it's kind of like, eh, it could have been better. But like, you know what? He, he won't tell you that. He'll tell you you did great.